Now, in my last video, I talked about how I changed my diet to lose a solid 12 kilos, but that was just one part of the puzzle. Today, I'm going to walk you through the second part, and that's what I did for my exercise. So this isn't about just changing how my body looked, but it is also about setting a new fitness goal and also hitting it. And what I did was not complicated, but it was very effective. And the cool thing is that it got me leaner and combined with my eating habits, it also transformed my body. Now, let me tell you that it wasn't a quick fix. And even though somewhere I was very skeptical, but the results spoke for itself. So what exercises did I do to burn that extra fluff and also build some muscle? Well, you're going to be surprised. Now, before we dive into the workout, let me do what I always do. Take my doggos for a walk. If any of you have dogs, they'll make sure you get moving whether you like it or not. So even if you want to procrastinate, well, you have no other option but to get moving. And what's really nice is that no matter how I feel, they always hold me accountable. So when you have dogs, you really can't get away with it. Also, look how happy they are. That's a smile, by the way. Alright, so let's get started. Now, my workout routine is pretty simple. I alternate between upper body and lower body days. And don't worry. I'll get to my cardio routine also in a bit. But let's start first with my upper body day. Now, a warm-up is very important and it's like a key thing because doing any kind of warm-up will get your joints and your muscles nice and ready. So what I do is I just do some arm swings, some wrist rotations and just a few basic mobility moves. And just in case I feel stiff, I'll throw in like a quick 5-minute walk or some light cardio just in case I feel like that. Now, when I first started, it seemed quite easy, but that first week ends up being quite painful. And you know how it is when you don't really work out for a while and then suddenly you start working out, but with time, it gets better. Now, it all starts with three superset variations. Now, the very first exercise I do is a superset. That is a band chin-ups. Now, pull-ups and chin-ups were always my weakness. And I feel I have very less strength when it comes to my biceps and even my back. So I started with assisted weighted chin-ups and then I went to band chin-ups and then eventually I started doing it without the band. So what I do is I make sure that I do around 6 reps and even if I'm doing it assisted, I just make sure I use the least amount of weight or the least amount of support to help me. And after this, I take a break for like around 30 seconds to a minute and I go for the next one, which is dips. Now, dips are one of my favorite because I feel like it's very challenging. Now, when I was a beginner, the very simple thing, I used to do assisted dips, but now I can do it quite easily. And I also feel my tricep strength is a little better than my bicep strength. So when it comes to dips, I make sure I do around five reps. And after I'm done with this, I make sure I repeat this entire thing again for two more rounds and then I move on to the next. Now, after I've done with my first superset, I jump on to the next, which is one of my favorite, that is push-ups. Now, when it comes to push-ups, I do around eight reps, but I make sure I do my push-up with not a very wide grip and my elbows a little close, which is moving towards the inside. And after completing the eight reps, I take a break for around 30 seconds to a minute. And then I do rows for another eight reps. Even in this exercise, I just make sure that my hands are not too wide. It's quite like how you see it right now. Now, this for me, again, used to feel very difficult at times, but I would not be able to complete eight reps. So just in case I cannot finish my eight reps, I would take a slight break for a few seconds and then go back into completing the eight reps. Now, this is one of the most beautiful compound exercise, just like the others, that works your back, your core, and even your arms. And it's also quite challenging and totally worth it. Now, after doing this, I again go to repeat this entire superset for another two rounds. Now, the next that I go with, which is another superset, is a pull-up. Now, I started doing assisted pull-ups, and once I got a little better, I started using pull-ups with a band. And I try to make sure that I do very clean pull-ups for around 5 reps. And eventually, once my pull-ups started getting better, I went without the band for around 5 to 6 reps. And after a 30 second break, I would go for the next one, which is a pike push-up, which is a part of this superset. Now, pike push-ups looks a little challenging and to be honest, it is. So I would do around 2 to 3 or sometimes close to 5 reps when I started off with a pike push-up. 
where you elevate your hips and you try to make sure that your forehead almost touches the floor. This honestly looked quite easy but it's quite tough especially when you start but once you get used to it you can go for a little more reps. And once I've done with my pike push-ups, I make sure that I repeat this whole superset for another two rounds. Now after I finish this superset, I go in for hanging leg raises. Now when I do hanging leg raises, I just make sure that I don't try and rock so much. So I just try to make sure that my grip is very steady. And I try to aim for around 10 reps. And after I'm done with my 10 reps, I just make sure I repeat it two more times. And hanging leg raises is one of the most challenging core workouts that you can do because firstly you have to have a very good grip on the bar and even apart from that you really have to pick your legs up against gravity. And just doing hanging leg raises just helps you with achieving a lot of some future goals because for me when it comes to hanging leg raises yes it's difficult but it makes something like an L sit for me quite easy. Now after doing this, I would just do some very light stretches and I would just jump onto a treadmill or a cycle and just do some steady state cardio for around 20 minutes. And after that, we call it a day. Now the thing is that when it came to the upper body exercises, I couldn't do them all in a complete flow. There were times where I would get tired and not be able to complete the rep. But somehow I would just manage to complete the rep no matter how I struggled with it. Or no matter how much time it took. Or even if I had to take a little more or a few seconds more and complete the rep. So don't get me wrong because when I started, even I couldn't do everything perfectly. There were plenty of times I had to pause mid-set, take a breather and then push through it and finish it. It was tough, but the first week is generally tough and after that it gets a bit easier. So to increase the intensity, I made it a point to increase the reps each week. And even if it's just like one or two, so let's say if I could do eight push-ups, by the next week I would increase it to maybe like a nine or a ten just to keep things a bit more challenging. But the most important thing was the form. So no matter whether I could do 10 reps of it, I would always focus on the form and I focused on doing every move with full range of motion. So no shortcuts, no matter what the exercise was. So even if it was pull-ups, I made sure that I stretched my arms fully before starting the next rep. Now this gave me more control and strength over time. So you might somewhere want to quickly do the reps, but majorly just focus on the form. Oh, and I also like to mix things up because some days I would start with like a superset three, which is like a pull-ups and a bike push-ups just to keep my body guessing. Other times I would just jumble things around, but I would always stick to the key principle of pairing a push and a pull movement together. Because it just keeps things fresh, it keeps things simple and also I find that alternating between these supersets helps you build strength more evenly across all muscles. And if you look at it, it may just look very basic but trust me, it didn't feel that way. Less reps and proper form go a long way. And that's it for my upper body today. Honestly, it's all about showing up, pushing through and keeping at it. And of course, you can definitely tweak it to where you are at. And this is just half of the story, because if you want to know how I train my lower body, well, trust me, that's also where the real magic happened. So stick around for my next video. We'll be talking about a few things that also help me transform my lower body overall. So lower body day is coming up and I promise you it's going to be worth it. So let's see you in the next one.